G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. Alright, before we get into this, I bought this bloody green screen from uh, Kmart. Look, it's all I could afford. It's probably not going to work, to be honest, so we're probably going to end up getting rid of it. It was only like 19 bucks, so at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. I might be able to use it for TikTok content and stuff, so... Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. We're going to give it a go. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, in today's video, I am going to be ranking how, well, let me just, ranking the chances of being the Rabbitohs' next head coach. That's what I'm doing. All right, so we've got eight coaches down here, um, eight potential coaches, like, obviously, there's probably more out there that have been spoken about. But these are the main eight that I've seen going around. Um, obviously, most of them being rumoured. There's been a few that have definitely um, started ringing bells in the uh, in the media. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, let, let's just go through it. So we've got five five little uh, tiers here, and we've got eight coaches. So this is basically who is going to be the next head coach of the Rabbitohs. All right, let's run through. First coach is Mel Meninga. All right. I've got Mel Meninga in likely, but only as interim. I do think Mel would bring a lot to the Rabbitohs. He is definitely a very well-respected man in the NRL world. Uh, you know, players like Latrell Mitchell, Cody Walker, um, Jack Whiten, a lot of, and a lot more of our leadership players would have a hell of a lot of respect for this man. So I think that uh, he can definitely create a culture culture shock and fix the current culture at the Rabbitohs. I really do. Because, you know, th this man, I guarantee, would come into the club, he would say jump, and the boys would be like, how high? They, uh, I guarantee, the club would have the utmost respect for this man. He would win the team over like that. So... Yeah, I think Mal Meninga is a very good chance of coming in to clean up things in 2024. However, I don't see him as our next official head coach. Right, the next man is the man on the chopping block, Jason Demetrio. Now, they did say that if the Rabbitohs were to win this weekend, JD potentially could keep his job. Um, if, we, if the Rabbitohs lose, then it's very much unlikely. Now, I have heard reports today that apparently, for some stupid reason, if the Rabbitohs are, if the Rabbitohs still lose this game but are competitive, there is a chance JD keeps his job. I really hope if that is, if that has come from South Sydney, I really hope they're just saying that to the media to sort of get them off their back, because as a member, a fan, and as a well. And just a supporter in general, the, it needs to stop. We, we need to see improvement, and we won't see improvement with JD as our head coach. I can promise you that. So for me, I think Jason Demetrio as the head coach of the Rabbitohs is unlikely. However, I think I think heads will roll if he is put on put back on. I really do. Win, lose, or draw. Jason Demetrio, unfortunately, is not the man for the job. I love JD as a person. I think he is a great person. I think he's got a very good heart. But the thing is, sometimes you need to have a mix of being a good bloke and a tough bloke at the same time. And he's just, he's not hes not getting the respect that he deserves, in my opinion. And I think that's because he doesn't have the the balls, I guess you could say, to stand up to some of the players on the team. That's just how it looks from the outside looking in. I could be completely wrong, but uh, that is how I see it. Next up, we've got Craig Bellamy. And look, I, I would put it in here, but I've saved this for one other person. Um, I don't think Craig is going to happen. I'm going to put him straight in there. He's either going to re-sign once again with Storm or he's going to retire. I don't see him going around again, so I am putting Craig in not going to happen. Sam Burgess. Again, 
love to put him in here, but I am going to put him in. Not going to happen. And I'll explain why he's going in there um, when I do another coach. Because, yeah, I, I just think... Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it soon. I'll talk about Sam because Sam and another coach go hand in hand. So we'll talk about that soon. John Sutton is somebody that I would love to coach, but it is not very likely. Uh, Sutto, he is an absolute club legend. If you say, you know, Rabbitohs, the, the most um, loyal Rabbitohs player of all time, it would be John Sutton. You know, there was, there was a time where he had to take a pay cut to stay with the club because he wanted to be a one-club player. He only got re-signed for one year, I believe, but or it was like one year at a time. I can't exactly remember, but man, I've got the utmost respect for John Sutton. I would love him to be the next coach, or at least the interim coach, but I just can't see it happening. Uh, the, he just doesn't have the experience. I tell you what though, if the boys didn't, uh, didn't turn up for Sutto, I'd be very disappointed. And I tell you what, whoever, you know, whoever bit back at Sutton and said they weren't going to do what he said for them to do, you can go, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Cam Murray. I really don't. I love Cam Murray. My favourite player in the NRL. But if you, you know, John Sutton is, he lives and breathes South Sydney. He has from day dot. So, yeah, look, I, I'd love it, but it's very unlikely. He's just not, he's just not experienced enough to take on something this big. Another another coach that I could put in this one, because I'd love Hornby to take over, but I do think that he is somewhat likely to take over as the interim coach. I do think Mel Meninga is probably the best option, and I do think that he will probably lock that in. However, if that does fall through, next best thing, in my opinion, is Ben Hornby. I, I, I wouldn't uh, definitely wouldn't turn my back on Ben Hornby. He's been a... Uh, been with us for a few years now so um yeah i love what he's what he's done with the club obviously you know there's a lot of issues with the club but uh he's a very positive man and i think that uh he definitely helps lift the spirits around so i do think he could be a pretty good coach there for us uh, in the interim that is all right next up michael mcguire another one i'd actually put in here but this is literally reserved for john sutton literally um I am going to put Michael Maguire in unlikely. He's taken up the role with the Blues now. I think he is going to solely put his time and effort into New South Wales. Uh, I'd love for Madge to come back because he was incredible for us. But I, ju I just can't see that happening. So Michael Maguire, he's going in unlikely. But uh, definitely wouldn't mind to see him back. That means very likely is Wayne Bennett. I do think Wayne does return to South Sydney. I am very much of the belief that he will. I expect that he will sign on from 2025 until 2026. And then this is where Sam Burgess comes in. I think Wayne will coach the Rabbitohs for those two years. He will get them out of this rut um, behind either what Mel Meninga or Ben Hornby does this year. I think Wayne Bennett will take that on and uh, do a great job. And then we've seen what Sam Burgess can do at Warrington. I know it's only been for about seven or eight games so far, but he's been incredible. And I, I do generally believe after a few years in the Super in the Super League, he can be a great coach in the NRL. I genuinely believe that. So uh, yeah, let's go through it, guys. So very likely, I've got Wayne Bennett. Uh, likely, but only as an interim. I've got Mel Meninga and Ben Hornby. I'd love it, but not very likely. My man, Johnny Sutton. Uh, unlikely, Jason Demetrio and uh, Michael McGuire. And then not going to happen, uh, Craig Bellamy and Sam Burgess. Now, that is as the next coach, remember, guys. So, Sam Burgess, I do think, will come in and coach the Rabbitohs at some point. But I do not think it will be in 2024 or until he comes back from Warrington, to be fair. But uh, yeah, guys, drop down in the comments. Let me know who you'd like to see coach the Rabbitohs next. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.